This is 19 streamers who lost their minds live on camera. If there is one game that can cause people to go a little bit crazy, it's got to be Valorant. One of the most competitive franchises in the world has led to some streamers absolutely losing their minds, with the most famous of those being XQC. Felix is well known for his hilarious reactions on stream, but when it came to Valorant, it's safe to say that his brain just 100% stopped working. <laughs> Sadly, we're not able to say the same for Courage JD because if we could, maybe he wouldn't have rage quit a $400,000 tournament. Fortnite fans will of course remember the controversial Season X, mainly because it forced so many people to straight up delete the game. There were many hated things during that period of Fortnite, but none were more despised than the famous mechs. They destroyed streamers on a daily basis, but none felt their wrath more than Courage, costing him nearly half a million dollars. I'm not playing anymore, bro. I'm off this game. I'm sorry, Tim. I'm not playing anymore today. Luckily for Markiplier, he didn't lose any money during his time with Crash Bandicoot. We can't say the same for his sanity, though. Anyone who's ever played the classic platformer will know all about the high road, one of the most hated levels in gaming history, largely because of how insanely difficult it is. Some players just gave up, others went into a serious tantrum. As for Markiplier, though, he pretty much lost his mind. <laughs> Losing your mind is something that definitely applies to iShow Speed as it happens to the dude on a daily basis. Anyone who's watched this guy on stream is there to see him fall apart, it's his whole brand at this point, it's what his fans love. And if there is one game that's guaranteed to make you do that, it's gotta be Fall Guys. There's only so many times you can fail before it all becomes too much and when it happened to Speed, everyone was in for quite a show. Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's definitely a unique reaction, that's for sure, which can also be said for Alaska when she played Elden Ring. Fans of the Soul series know all about the game's ridiculously difficult bosses, but very few are more tough than Millennia. This impossible fight caused many streamers to end up seriously angry. Alaska, though, reacted in a very different way. It's a shame Asmongold didn't have that kind of composure when Cuphead became too much for him. The bosses in the hugely challenging side-scroller can rival Elden Ring when it comes to difficulty, which players always find out the hard way. Most managed to get away with just losing their minds, Asmongold sadly had to say goodbye to a controller as well. I broke it. Shit! I wouldn't have blamed Trainwreck if he'd done the same thing when he got outplayed by nature. Players take Warzone very seriously, that's pretty obvious, so when it all goes wrong, it's bound to lead to some stressed out streamers. But out of all the things that can destroy you, I don't think Trainwreck ever expected a tree to beat him in a 1v1. I got him, I knocked him, I knocked him, I knocked him, I knocked one. I'm stuck in a tree! I'm stuck in a tree! I'm stuck in a tree! In getting over it, you've got no one to blame but yourself though, and it's led to some hilarious moments. Anger, laughter, tears, and that's all just from PewDiePie. People show their emotions in a variety of ways when playing this game, but none are as memorable as Felix really losing his cool. <laughs> Kai Senat suffered an even worse fate when playing Outlast as he witnessed the end of a clean set of underwear. Not many franchises will tear your soul from your body like this one, and I think Kai would probably agree. Making someone so scared they end up in actual tears, that's a special talent. <laughs> He's not the only one though, as Nick Merckx literally couldn't carry on. The guy straight up dipped when the game became too much for him. Apparently people called Nick are just out here falling apart because everybody's favourite family friendly streamer Nick A30 has obviously had his brain melted. The guy's known for being one of the most positive people in gaming, the only thing I'm positive about though is that he's been tipped over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Nick, I have the aerialist perk, I'm dead. 
Luckily, things went much better for Moist Critical, who created a hilarious scene when playing GTA. Charlie ended up in an intense game of cat and mouse that caused him to totally fall apart. And if you're gonna lose your sanity, the best way to do it is probably with laughter. <laughs> There's no way Montana Black was having fun like this, and anyone who plays FIFA can probably back him up on that. The well-known football series is famous for forcing people into madness with last-minute goals, but it even causes full-on fights. Players brawling on the pitch may not be much of a surprise, but Montana Black managed to get into a wrestling match with his own office equipment. Ifrost Bolt probably wishes he was playing a game as chilled as FIFA because the terrifying visage takes no prisoners. It's created some fantastic moments with all sorts of famous streamers being absolutely petrified by its disgusting creatures. Things went a little bit differently for Ifrost though when he got jump scared by a fart. Ah! Oh my dude! He's not the only person who had a heart attack, but at least Jew Flunky was scared for a legit reason. Welcome to the game has claimed a lot of victims with its unique style of horror, but none were as hilarious as this guy. Because not only did his soul leave his body, he straight up left his chair. <coughs> Summit 1G jumped out of his chair too, but for a very different reason, because let's be real, Battle Royale games can bring out the worst in people. Before they took over the world, if you wanted to be king of the kill, you had to jump into H1Z1 and that's exactly what popular streamers were doing. Summit was definitely one of the most entertaining, that's for sure. Things didn't always go as planned for the poor guy though. When it comes to battle royales, everyone knows that one of the major problems is stream snipers and I'm sure Tim the Tapman can agree with that. He may be pretty talented, but when someone has the upper hand, even his level of skill's not enough. What the f is going on? Dude, it, it, my chat is saying they're cheating. I don't know if the kid was cheating to kill me, but I've never been sniped so many times in my head, dude. There's probably no one more well known for losing their mind than Dr. Disrespect. It's pretty much his whole personality. And as we've seen, if there is one game guaranteed to get your blood boiling, it's gotta be Fortnite. The world's most successful battle royale is famous for stressing people out with its hackers and stream snipers. But sometimes you're just not good enough, and I guess the doc couldn't handle that. I am losing my mind just to have some f***ing idiot with a rocket launcher do that! It's a stupid game! It's safe to say Ludwig had a similar experience with Among Us, except he could 100% blame a teammate. In a game that's all about manipulation and lying, what hope have you got when your fellow imposter can't even vote for the right person? And it's fair to say this didn't go down too well with Ludwig. Hogs, how are you so bad? Just for bad! I'm losing my mind! I'm losing my mind! What are you doing? And that was 19 streamers who lost their minds live on camera. Make sure you subscribe to the end game and of course have an incredible day.